good evening. The Mass this evening is offered for the parish family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Praise of the glory of his grace, 
that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over this house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the six months of her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi. Hi. Well, happy feast day. It's our mother's special feast day. In the East, they didn't call it the Immaculate Conception, they call it the Conception of Saint Anne, the mother of, uh, of Mary. And they don't really buy into this whole uh, immaculate conception thing. It's a little different story for the Eastern churches. But we have a very good foundation. We have all the things we need. And the immaculate conception is not the conception of Jesus Christ. That's called the virginal conception. The immaculate conception is the conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary in her mother, Saint Anne. And there are four dogmas of the church uh, declaring things about Mary. There's four special things. One is the motherhood of Mary, it's a doctrine. Then the virginity of Mary, before, doing, and after, always, always a virgin, that's a doctrine. Today we have the uh, Immaculate Conception, and we've got the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin into Heaven. So four dogmas. So if we say, if we say I don't believe in the whole thing, this is okay. If you don't believe what the church teaches, you can always go back to prayer and meditation. And after 30, 40, 50, 50, 60 years of meditation and prayer, you come to the same result as the church has. So this is just a shortcut for you to believe, and you are safe in believing what, you, what you're taught to believe. Because this is the truth, and this is what God must deal with truth. Blessed Mother is very special to us. And uh, in 19, 15, 1850, it was declared, December... 8th, 1950, the Immaculate Conception. And it was also, there was an apparition of the Blessed Virgin with Bernadette, we don't, that's not Scooby-Doo, Bernadette Subaru, and it's not the Subaru either, the car, so Subaru is the lady, and she appeared, the Blessed Mother appeared to her. So one of those apparitions of the Blessed Mother, Bernadette looked up, because people asked her, asked her what, who she is. So she asked, who are you? Not an answer. Who are you? Second time. So they kept on talking and finally she said to God, Oh please, who are you? And this is what the Blessed Mother said to Saint Bernadette. She said, The lady was standing above the wild rose bush in a position very similar to that shown in the miraculous medal. At my third request, her face took on a serious expression and at the same time an expression of deep humility. Drawing her palms as if for prayer, she raised them to the height of her breast. 
She looked up to heaven and slowly opened her hands and bending down toward me, she said to me in a voice in which one could sense a slight trembling, I am the Immaculate Conception. So, Sebastian Colby wrote this uh, little story about how to aim higher. Uh, he talked about how God, we know, He is immaculate and He was inconceived. So, we know when God appeared to Moses, he, Moses asked him, Who are you? And he says, I am, meaning I always was, I am, and always will be. I have to exist. Without me, nothing existed because things exist, it is I who make those. So, when we come to the immaculate conception, this is what he writes further. Immaculate conception does not mean, as some think, that the Most Holy Virgin did not have a father on earth. Oh, right. I'm losing my eyesight too. So she came forth as other children on this earth, having been born for family and having a real father and mother. She is called conception, therefore she is not God, who has not no beginning, neither an angel created directly by God, nor like the first parents who did not begin their existence by conception. She's even called conception not in the same way as Jesus, who, though conceived and nevertheless as God, existed from eternity. But she is the immaculate conception. By this she differs from all the other children of Adam, thus the name immaculate conception is appropriate to her and to all her alone. Our immaculate mother and gods, where then is her place, and at the same time ours, who we are, her property, her possession, and hers alone. So it gets on top of talking further how we now come together as her children, because she brought forth Jesus, and Jesus is our brother, so naturally we, she is our mother, if Jesus is our brother. So when she brings me are brought into this communion, into this relationship with God. So the thing is, we try very hard to come into heaven, but it is impossible for us because we are really, I uh, don't have the power. So God comes to our aid, and like the Blessed Mother, remember when I messed up some things in the game, one says, Mom, this is not this, this, bad, Dad is going to be so mad at me. Ah, she says, just leave it to me, I'll talk to him. And so they talk, and instead of getting a full whooping, we'll get just maybe a little punishment here and there. But that's the power of a mother. And so when we come to a mother and ask her to help us and to see for us, then she is very mighty and powerful, relying upon her is really what God really rejoices. Because he says, this is the crowning of our creation. We were all supposed to be immaculate the conception, but we aren't because of the fall of Adam and Eve. And so the Blessed Mother is the example to us, and she shows us what Jesus likes, and she, in the same way as we try to unite with her, she forms us anew into a likeness of Jesus Christ. So the immaculate conception is our feast day because this is our sign that it is possible to get to heaven. And even if we can't make it by ourselves, there's always the Blessed Mother. She can help us, and she will, because she is so good. A creature, nevertheless, but good. Let us do. So stand for best our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things are made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake was crucified and conscious by it. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge to the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no more. I believe in the Holy Spirit, of the Lord and the Lord of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified. I believe in the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you with all our needs. We pray and plead especially today for our country.
As Queen Esther pleaded for the life of her people, so we plead for the life of all the good people here in the United States. Bring light to light and let darkness vanish, we pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray also for our faith, that the faith will be unadulterated and remain pure and intact, we pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for our families, relatives, friends, that they may experience the joy of being one with God, and we all make it into the joys of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Many petitions we have today. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, Father of all, we know and we trust that will help us because we plead in the name of Jesus in the intercession of our Mother, the Immaculate Conception. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, have become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the wine and work of human hands have become our spiritual bread. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer, Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your provenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just for our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure Virgin, was to bring forth the son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Tabarum, Venis Concelia Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in The 
mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection unto you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And the Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring into the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Luke the sixteenth, our Pope Emeritus, down to our bishop and all the clergy. And also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all who pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Say this command and form me my teaching, you dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, the Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which, in a singular way, you preserved Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. I ask and pray for God's blessings to respond with Amen. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And bless the mighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come upon and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Saint Michael, we are the angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness of the snares of the devil. May God be with you in your own grave. And to God, praise the heavenly host. By the power of God, cast him to hell sleep. And all the evil spirits, no matter about the world, will see him in the world of souls. Amen. All lady, good success. Pray to Christ. Saint Joseph. Pray to Christ. Holy, holy angels and saints. Pray to Christ. May the divine assistance remain always with us. May the soul of the believer depart it. To the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. This is the end of our Mass. Uh, but if you'd like to stay, we continue with an exorcism prayer for our country and also have uh, treats for our young generation.
God of Christ, strength of confessors. Save us. God of Christ, bringing forth virgins. Save us. God of Christ, help of those in peril. Save us. God of Christ, relief of the burden. Save us. God of Christ, solace in sorrow. Save us. God of Christ, hope of the penitent. Save us. God of Christ, consolation of the dying. Save us. God of Christ, peace and tenderness of hearts. Save us. God of Christ, pledge of eternal life. Save us. God of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory. Save us. God of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor. Save us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Save us, Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Gracious Spirit, Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Thou hast redeemed us with thy blood, Lord. In the name of God. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who has appointed their only begotten Son to be the Redeemer of the world, and has been pleased to be reconciled unto us by his blood, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate your solemn worship, the prize of our salvation, that the power thereof may here on earth keep us from all things hurtful, and the fruit of the same may gladden us forever hereafter in heaven, for the same Christ of the Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we beg thee for the grace to remain guarded beneath the protective mantle of Mary surrounded by the holy briar from which was taken the holy crown of thorns and saturated with the precious blood and the power of the Holy Spirit with our guardian angels for the greater glory of the Father. Amen. Amen. August, Queen of the Heavens, I am the Son of the angels, thou who from the beginning has received from God the power of the mission to crush the heavy state. We now receive thee and send thy holy angels so that I may thy